Hi, my name's John Cordy and I just washed my hair. I'd love to know what you've been up to today. Maybe you mowed the lawn, maybe you've made yourself a coffee. And uh, yeah, let's get these comments popping and just let me know what you've been up to down below. Um, you could do that. Anyway, um, today's Monday and Mondays I talk about... It's not on. On Mondays I talk about, um, either I talk about some sort of legato lick or something like that, alternate pick and lick that someone's asked me to break down. So this week it's Nathaniel asked me to break down this lick that happened in uh, a kind of fusion-y C minor jam that I was playing sometime a couple of weeks ago and it goes like this. So that was the lick at 100% speed, 75% and 50%. Um, so I would encourage you, if you want to, to try and work that out by ear and visually. Um, and the reason that I have put it in those three speeds is that potentially you might want to slow it down and um, typically I would use the YouTube slowdown for that. This particular lick, for me, I could break it down 100% speed. Um, it's kind of on that that limit where you might want to slow it down or you might not. Um, but I was looking at a little Bob Reynolds um, video about how he does stuff. He does stuff at full speed apparently because um, he's trying to sort of train his ear to be able to hear things kind of at tempo as well. Um, and I think that's possible with quite a lot of stuff if you were getting like Larry Carlton, Robin Ford kind of territory. But I think if you were to like try and do some stuff like, I don't know, maybe more shreddy stuff like Guthrie or Alan Holdsworth. Um, for that stuff in particular, I think it's really helpful to use the slowdown feature. Um, and also for me, I find it useful if it's kind of jazzy elixir where you've got, it's not just pentatonic or major scale, you've got kind of chromatic notes and stuff. Anyway, enough about that. So, the lick. That's noisy. <laughs> And um, so that was improvised and uh, you see it cut into, um, at the very end of the lick it cuts into the next part of the solo which I recorded with a different tone which starts. So you could end the lick, I think probably I ended the lick in reality, um, but in that video it goes. So you could try and do that. It's a little bit more tricky then. So what's going on? Basically, so we've got this. This kind of groove. So like a C minor. A C minor kind of C Dorian funky thing. So when I'm thinking about this, it's not the way that everyone would think about it, but I'm thinking of the C minor as being chord two of B flat major, which is how you end up with that Dorian sound. And I'm mixing that in with normal uh, C minor pentatonic kind of uh, vibes uh, during this solo. Um, so we're gonna start with that chromatic kind of slide up. Mm -hmm. 
So there's a, quite a lot of chromaticism in this particular lick. So we're starting with a chromatic note and then most of the other chromatics are going to happen between the fifth and sixth note. So between the, the third and second and fifth and sixth. Uh, it's just a way that this happens to, to occur. So the first lick. straightforward so and then the same kind of idea with that approaching the third from uh, the step below and then down the pentatonic scale from the E flat and then another chromatic note like a three note per string kind of thing. And then the very last part of the lick. using that same second flat third third so down here but we're starting with a, a major seven arpeggio from the seven of E flat so and that's quite a nice little um, construction anyway I think in its own right that might be worth practicing so I'm going up this kind of major seven E flat, then coming down, and then ascending up through like a, a C minor scale, and then through the pentatonic and then down well slide up to the next position slide up and then down through that kind of pentatonic -y bluesy scale thing So all together, I'll try and play it slowly. If you want 
do the more difficult version. So all of that will be tabbed out on Patreon. Um, the way that I'm picking it is my usual legato stuff. So. So only really picking kind of string directions and then letting the left hand do a lot of the work. how I would play that and that's how I did play it. It was improvised so I can't really tell you too much about why I did whatever I did but it looks like I'm focusing on kind of the the, the pentatonic but with those those uh, chromatic available notes so it might be worth if you were interested in this sort of thing uh, you could take um, that some kind of exercises out of it. Um, so yeah, you could take those chromatic um, the chromatic stuff works kind of well when you don't use too much of it so um you mix it in but don't make the whole line completely chromatic it kind of sounds more effective and kind of less random i think and the chromatics uh you can think about trying to place them on the offbeat um that's generally the advice anyway that's the lick for this week hopefully that was useful and as i said the lick will be on patreon uh, in tab form and the backing track if you want it um hopefully that's of some use uh kind of c minor and if you want to do the theory side of thing this the theory side of the thing i would look at kind of using c dorian as the the base kind of mode or scale for this. And then use the kind of C minor pentatonic more traditionally and throw in those um, chromatics. That's basically what I'm doing. Um, if you got anything out of this kind of video and thought it was useful and want to see more of this kind of stuff, use the buy me a coffee link um, only if you can afford it and if you really want to. Um, but you could also put in like a request for other stuff if you choose to do that uh, Also on patreon is where I'd ask you to kind of request uh, other lit videos and stuff um, but hopefully this was useful if you could like and subscribe and Hit the bell notification that would be useful. Um, thank you for stopping by and Catch up for another video soon. Cheers